Maybe you don't want to learn how to code, or maybe you don't want to spend a bunch of your time learning design, or maybe you're cool with doing all those things, but your bank account is at zero. So instead of focusing on all the technical details and the design how-tos, you want to get your first website clients out of the way so you can actually make money and learn as you're getting paid. Maybe you want to start charging for websites as soon as humanly possible. And I know what you're probably thinking already. You're thinking, how in the world can I charge money if I don't know the ins and outs and how to code and I don't know the design principles and basics and how can I charge money if I'm using templates? Let me tell you a story. I remember sitting at a Barnes and Noble, which is a bookstore in the US, And I was going through these HTML, CSS, design books and just consuming the information. I was sitting there learning. I spent hours and hours learning and studying these principles. Now, did they help? Of course. Of course they did. Of course they did. I learned a lot during that period, but I was still broke. Still didn't have any clients. In fact, my first year, I got three clients because I spent so much time Any free time I had outside my job, outside my school, I was a full-time student, I would learn these design principles. I would try to understand HTML, JavaScript, CSS, PHP. I would study WordPress and how it worked and how to install different plugins and this and that. When in reality, wouldn't it make more sense if I just got a client and just told them, hey, I'm in training I'm going to build you a website. If you don't like it, just I'll send you a refund. You don't have to pay me anything. And if I was just upfront about it and I was a beginner and I just said, look, I don't know everything. I'm going to do my very, very best for you. If you don't like it, no worries. We'll go our separate ways. But just so you know, I'm incentivized and I'm going to spend all of my time making sure that this is perfect for you. Would I have gotten more clients? The answer is obviously yes. If I focused more on getting clients or cold calling or sending messages instead of focusing all my time on being this perfect web designer. In other words, if I had just built websites the lazy way using templates and then slightly tweaking it, I would have made much more money. And then if you still want to get into code, if you still want to get into design and charge these high ticket prices and be an artist, then that's okay. You can certainly do that. But at least you're not going to be broke while you're figuring that out. I hate the saying starving artist. And that's exactly what I want to try to break here. And before we dive into different themes that I'm going to show you here, I want to get one common misconception out of the way. People think that using a theme is some kind of bad thing. Oh, I want my unique, my original design. If you think you're going to sit down and design some unique website that isn't already out there somewhere in the world, at this point, think about how many websites exist on the internet. How many? Is it is it hundreds of millions? Is it billions? And you think out of all those websites, you can come up with something that's unique? Do you think that somewhere else in the world, maybe in another language, maybe in your language, there isn't another website that looks similar to your unique design? The answer is obviously not. There are certain design principles that everyone follows. And there is no real unique design anymore. Sure, you can have your twist to it and your different font styles and this and that. But at the end of the day, we're all following general principles and someone else has probably thought of your unique design before you have and it already exists. So let's get that out of our brain here. Let me go in and show you some themes. This website right here is called Theme Forest. I want you to go to this website after you watch this video and just go under where it says WordPress or all items and just hit popular items, okay? What you're gonna see is beautiful website themes that are popular, meaning everyone loves them. And you can go in and just hit live preview. Let's take a look at the number one, hit live preview, and you're gonna get instant ideas on websites that you can build, different elements you can build, different ideas on how to structure images and text and headings and fonts. You're going to get so many ideas as long as you go into the pre-built section. And if you want in the future, if you like some of these, let's say you have a handyman client, just go in and use this theme. You can import it. If you like using WordPress, import this WordPress website and look at it. It's already all built. Go in, use this, and then you will be good. This is the easy way of how to build it. I would try to find a theme that has similar colors to what your client 
actually want. And if they want drop down pages and if they like all this, as you can see, this looks very nice. So go in here and use this for your clients. Now, again, if you're not using WordPress or for some reason you want to do HTML or anything else like that, that's all inside of here as well. And again, even if you are, let's say, not using WordPress, you're not using HTML, this is still good for you to go in and understand design elements to understand, okay, interesting, why is this website showing up like this? Why do they have the services like that? And then after you see a bunch of these websites, what you can do, and this is what I did, is you can study just your favorite parts. Maybe you went to this testimonial section and you realize, oh, you know what? I actually kind of like how this line right here is not straight and adds a nice touch to it. Oh, I like how this border is next to the testimonials. I'm going to do that for my testimonials page. So you can take bits and pieces of what you like. And again, you're making a unique website because you're taking your favorite elements, right? If you go to the theme section, if you open up 10 of these, 15 of these, and you just spend 30 minutes looking through all of them, take note on what you actually like and just take your favorite parts about the website, import your favorite theme, and just add them in. And now you have a semi custom website that you can use for clients and you're doing it the lazy way because you're not building it from scratch. Now, the other way that you can do it is inside of go high level. You can use something that's called custom values. As you can see, this is how they look right here. So when you're building a website using the go high level website builder, you can put in these values. And then once you're inside go high level, you can go under settings right here and you can go under custom values and then just input the URL, the phone number, the email, and it will place that across the entire website. So meaning anywhere we have this field right here, when you look at the live website, it's going to pull in the live information. So you can build an entire website just like this, right? Just like this. And all the links will be automatically changed once you replace the link on the back end here. So this is also the lazy way of doing it because it changes across the whole website and you can even do this with colors. So for example, you put in a custom value here that's yellow and then you go in on the back end here and you just replace the color from yellow to red and then it's going to make this red across the entire website. Also, by the way, if you need stock images and you need like moving video backgrounds and GIFs and that kind of thing, I love using Canva. So we pay for the Canva premium, but you certainly don't need it. As you can see here, go under photos and just type in any niche, any industry, whatever your client space is in, type that in and you can find it here. Now, some of these are free. For example, this photo right here is free. If you have a roofing client, as you can see, there's no crown next to it. This is not a pro photo. But of course, the paid ones are going to be a little bit nicer. This one's free as well. So you can use these for your clients and for the different service pages and everything. So I would recommend you use unique images like this or ask your clients for images and you'll be able to build a website very, very quickly. Now you're probably wondering, okay, well, how do I get unique content? What is the lazy way? I don't want to sit here and write paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs. So there's a few things you could do. First thing you could do, if your client does not pay you a lot, so we have two payment options, website in a day and custom websites. Custom websites, four to $6,000. Websites in a day, meaning it's just a copy paste website like this, where we literally just hit duplicate on the back end and you just have your website, we put your logo on it. We use ChatGPT for content. Go in, just make a prompt, give ChatGPT all of your client details and it will write everything for you, I promise. It's amazing. If your client is a custom website client or they're paying you a lot of money or they're paying you for SEO, then go in, go to this website that's called Upwork and just type in content writer. Type in content writer and you can hire someone per hour to go in and actually write down and write content for your clients, not the testimonials, but everything else. And then you can take it, copy and paste it in there. Now, again, you want to make sure that you are charging your client enough because now you have an expense and you're paying an external contractor to do some work for you. And lastly, if you want to be real lazy with it, you can hire a virtual assistant to go in and basically do this entire thing for you. This is what we do. This is what we have. You tell your virtual assistant which theme you want to use. Okay. Let's say it's a uh, WordPress website. You tell them, Hey, I want this exact theme. These are the client details. Your virtual assistant that you hire will go in, you give them the domain, 
they will install WordPress on the domain, make it a subdomain, right? So it's a demo site, so it doesn't go live for your clients. They will install WordPress. They will replace the client's information on your website. And then they will even ask ChatGPT to put in the content. If you're not using ChatGPT, what you can do is just make the post inside of Upwork, like we said. And then once that contractor, that writer sends you the content, you just send it to your assistant. And this WordPress assistant basically does the whole thing for you. Let me show you what that looks like. If you go into Upwork right here, you might think, oh, I don't want to hire people and I don't want other people to touch my work. They're not going to know, blah, blah, blah. If you are on Upwork, they have a great job success rating. And then also you can see how much they roughly charge per hour, $10 per hour. If Even if it takes them 10 hours to do all of this stuff for you. I mean, think about it. You're buying back 10 hours of your time for $100. If your client paid you thousands of dollars for a website, this would be easy. And the best part is, even if you're doing custom websites, you're still providing a high quality service because you're delivering the website so fast. And this person, as an example, has earned over $60,000. Now, I've never used them. I don't know who they are. I'm just doing a random search. But there's other people that you'll find on here that, for example, do WordPress, or maybe you need someone that's doing Webflow. Go into Upwork and just find someone that works per hour and they'll complete the project with you. And after you work with a few people, you'll have someone in your back pocket that you love working with. And then you can build everything the lazy way because you have teams in place. You can outsource this to this person, this to your writer. They put it all together, right? You could even have them talk to each other. So you're not even telling them what to do eventually. And they're just assigning tasks to one another. And then before you know it, you look at it, it's done. Maybe you change a few things, you change a few elements, and then you're good to go. Most important thing here is you want to leave the freelancer, I do it all myself mindset into I am a business owner, I am an agency, and I will outsource the work that I don't want to do.